don't think you can really go. Double. One enemy remaining. This is for Kingdom of Heroes. So much more like amazing Genshin Impact content. What's up y'all, it's David or David. So I've been working on farming a new gear set for my official and I figured why not record some of the drops that I get so you can see what kind of rewards that you realistically get from farming the AR-45 Midsummer Courtyard Domain. So without any further ado, here's a total of 10 runs where I use my condensed resin to get double the drops which ended up costing me 400 resin in total. So I will have a chart displayed somewhere over here on the left side of the screen tracking all of the drops that I get from each run and at the very end I'll briefly explain which artifacts that I decided to keep and I'll go over why. Enjoy!
All right, so the first one that I came across, I think from my second run that I wanted to keep is this Feathering Artifact from the Thundering Fury set. Um, it's almost perfect, honestly. If the HP percent was maybe like either flat attack or crit rate, this would be pretty good so far. Um, even though it only has three rolls on the subsets instead of four, as long as the fourth one ends up being like crit rate or flat attack, like I just mentioned, this would be a super good artifact as long as it doesn't like, when I level it up, it doesn't increase the HP percent. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. So the second one that I decided to keep is actually the Sans Attack Percent Artifact. Um, I wouldn't keep this until Endgame, honestly. I would just use it for now. Endgame is probably like a little past AR50. Um, but like right now, this would be totally okay to use. I don't know if I would level it up all the way to 20, mainly because I don't see any crit rate on it. Um, and even if the fourth one does roll crit rate, honestly, attack, like flat attack is not way not better than attack percent. Um, and I do want to aim for something like that has crit rate and crit damage just for the end game. All right, so my fourth run actually dropped me two artifacts. Like the two artifacts that it dropped, the legendary ones, are super, super good. They're not like super good, like 10 out of 10, but like easy, like 9 out of 10s. Um, I'm definitely keeping both of them. Um, so the first one that it dropped was this legendary Thunder Soothers Plume. Um, it's a feather artifact for the Thunder Soother set. This is super good. If defense percent was attack percent, this would easily be a 10 out of 10 artifact. Um, so I'm excited because you can level it up up to 20, the legendary ones, and it increases the substats five times, I think. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Yeah, so five times. Um, and since this already has four substats, it's always going to increase one of them. If this increased anything but defense percent all five times, that would be insane. And even better yet, if all five of them or like even four of them go into crit damage or crit rate, I would be super, super happy. So I'm really happy with this one. I'm looking forward to using it. And then the other one that I'm super excited about was actually this one. So this is the one I leveled it up. I leveled it up for my official. Um, I think four of them went into attack percent. So I was like super excited when I saw that. Um, I mean, it doesn't have like crit rate or crit damage, but since all the like, or almost all the rolls went into attack percent, I was really, really satisfied with this artifact. So I'm definitely going to be using this one for a while. Um, when I find someone, I'm probably going to put this on my Kaching. Um, or if I decide to use it on like, as like an offset on someone just for the, or actually this one, just for the like crit rate or crit damage. Um, when I get more artifacts to fodder to level it up, I'll show you guys what I end up getting. So my very next run actually did drop this legendary artifact. You know, I kind of have mixed feelings about this, mostly because I on my goblet slots, I do like running elemental damage instead of elemental mastery. So like for Jean, I like running anemo damage and so on. Um, but the substats are pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. As long as the fourth one rolls like crit rate or something, I'll probably be keeping this. Um, I don't know if I'll be using it on like electro characters for the Thunder Soother set. I might just use this as like an offset. But like I said, I don't know who I'm going to use this on because I do prefer the elemental damage over the mastery. But the substats are good, so we will be keeping this. Um, so after the fifth run, basically, the drops were looking uh, pretty grim, to say the least. Um, at least on the last run, for the very tenth run, it dropped this little number. It's not great, obviously, but it's definitely something to keep for now. Um, I probably won't be using this in the end game just because the HP percent, I'm more interested in using like attack percent or at least flat attack or like crit damage percent. Um, but the crit rate and energy recharge is definitely helpful. I'm hoping the fourth one rolls either crit damage or attack percent. Um, and I, I'm hoping, I'm definitely hoping that when I level this up, it all goes into crit rate or crit damage as the fourth one, um, because I don't really want energy recharge percent or HP percent leveled up on this. Definitely a good offset piece, um, but yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna be using this end game unless I get super, super lucky with the rolls. So that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you got a good idea of what to expect from running AR45 domains in Midsummer Courtyard. Um, let me know if there's other domains that you'd like to see me run or any other videos, honestly, for Genshin, like tip guides or like what characters are run together, like who's good pairs. Honestly, anything. Um, I'm glad to help. I'm glad to put out videos. I'm definitely working on some stuff in the background right now. Um, so yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you enjoyed the content and want to see more. Also, leave me a like on the video and comment down below what you guys would like to see next. And I'll check you guys all in the next one. See ya. I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type. I've been